Well, right now, thousands of firefighters are trying to get each of those fires contained. The battle on the ground and in the air is coordinated through an office in Lakewood. Karen Morfitt is at the Rocky Mountain Area Coordination Center. And Karen, the fight really starts right there. And Karen, the team here at the Lakewood office, they really send resources to every fire here in Colorado and surrounding states. That means everything from ground crews to aircraft. They decide what and who to send from the initial attack to the moment the fire's over. There are four massive fires in Colorado that just about everyone in the state knows about. But every day, crews are fighting to keep dozens more from exploding. We have anywhere from 2 to 10 to 20 initial attacks a day that you never hear about, and that's what we want. Larry Helmrich is the fire information coordinator for the Rocky Mountain Area Coordination Center. The agency is responsible for dispatching resources to every fire, not just in Colorado, but the region. We control aircraft, all crews in the Rocky Mountain area, all equipment, dozers, operators, overhead teams, all those things flow through us. There are currently 80 different aircraft and nearly 3,000 firefighters from dozens of agencies fighting fires here in Colorado. Each evening we rank the fires in the Rocky Mountain area based on uh, critical needs. And of course, life safety is number one. Halmerick says even the smallest fires can take priority. Our number one goal of everything we do here in the Rocky Mountain area and across the nation is the initial attack. We'll throw every aircraft we have at initial attack fire to try to keep it from getting big. Now, the Red Canyon fire that started earlier today near Carbondale is a good example of that. Helmerich says they immediately took two of their largest planes currently fighting other fires here in Colorado and moved it to that fire in order to keep it from growing. In Lakewood tonight, Karen Morfitt covering Colorado First.